journey on this path is much more recent than yours. A few years ago, I watched a TED Talk given by a woman named Amy Cuddy, or Cudi, or C-U-D-D-Y. I, I, you've probably seen it before. If you haven't, go watch it. It's awesome. Anyway, the long story, she talks about all this research that she did, and she basically explained how if you stand in what she calls power poses, which is like arms up like this or like this for like two minutes, it can drastically change your biochemistry in your whole body. It can like double or triple your testosterone. It cuts your cortisol levels in half. Not only that, it changes people's impression of you. It changes how people perform on different uh, tests. And my first thought was, number one, wow, that's amazing. And then number two was, wait a minute. What about the other 23 hours and 58 minutes a day? What if my natural posture when I'm not thinking about it is like this? How is two minutes of doing this? I mean, it's better than nothing. But what would happen to my brain, to my self, if I changed the way that I stood all the time? This opened uh, a path of questioning for me, and I, I then went on to find a guy on YouTube by the name of Elliot Hulse. Shout out to Elliot, who has changed my life more than almost any person that I can think of who I've never met one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. He's an absolute genius, did some amazing videos, and he introduced me to the work of a man named Alexander Lowen. Alexander Lowen is the creator and founder of a field of psychology and treatment called bioenergetics and that was the place where I finally started to find stuff that really worked for me. I'm not saying it's the only uh, form of somatic psychology out there but it was the door for me and ultimately there's a quote that I love that I think is kind of the crux of what we're talking about here today which is you can't think your way out of problems you felt your way into. That is the problem with so much of NLP. <laughs> Podject.